You know, another thing that made the 327 real popular with hot routers back in the day is that it has the perfect rod ratio, which is 1.75. But to put that into perspective, a modern LS7 has a rod ratio of 1.5. And the red line on that thing factory is around 7,000 RPM. So take that with what you will. Are you going to see less cylinder wear over time because of having less side load from that rod ratio? I mean, maybe. But one thing I can say from experience is the 327 does sound different than a 350. 350, you can kind of hear the cylinders, you know, bobbing up and down a little bit more in there. It's hard to explain. 327 just has a little bit smoother of a sound to it. Again, take that for what it is, but that's just what I've noticed. We got a box, maybe I throw some shit in. Stuff that we're not keeping anyways. Thinking we can basically put both heads into that category, but. <laughs> the lifters come right out. So that's kind of a good sign. And what, what heads are on this thing? Um, 194s? No, they're way smaller than 194s. These are just little tiny stalkers. Uh, they're like one eight seven, I think, is oh, what really? these heads are. They're tiny. Oh, I thought that they were the bigger ones. No, 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 no. These are tiny. So once again, this is another truck engine. Came out of a 67 Chevy pickup. But even still, in 1967, basically in all the engines, they were putting flat top pistons in, which is way better than what that 350 came with in 1972. OK, Mr. Head. Teeny tiny bit of a ridge, but not bad. Really not bad at all. We'll throw the dial bore gauge on them. The point is to just get basically an engine in the Nova that might even have a little more power than the 350. So the Nova still runs while we rebuild the 350 yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think if you're buying all the pistons and you got to buy a set of rings, it might be worth tearing it all down. Actually, this, this cylinder does have some pitting in it. I wonder if you could just have them give it a hone. Or you could even dingle ball hone it. Well, that was my plan. I was yeah. just going to dingle ball hone it. And... Well, you can do all of them. But you know, you want something that you can go to the track and not be worried totally that it's going to blow up every time. Oh, trust me. I won't be worried about that. Oh, you that. won't be worried? <laughs> all right. Well, that's the case. Makes for better TV. Well, why don't let's let's uh, throw the dial bore gauge in this cylinder here, see where it's at. just to see where it's at, because that's going to kind of tell us that's, how far we should go yeah, with this thing. Yeah, that's going to determine. But you know, if it's a little bit loosey goosey on the pistons, that's all the better to throw some nitrous at it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That'll help fatten up that ring gap. Yeah. <laughs> the 350, that one is loose enough. It probably has the ring gap opened up enough for <laughs> yeah, for nitrous. Pro probably. Nitrous and a bunch of blow-by. Yeah. That looks like a little over 20 thousandths, doesn't it? So this thing's probably been rebuilt once before. 28.0285. Oh, there it is right there. 030. 030. Oh. So you're already at 30 thousandths so, on this big yeah, guy. We're already 30. Kind of funny, these old Chevy small blocks don't have threads in the end of the crankshaft here for a damper bolt. They're just held on with the honor system. <laughs> so one thing we're also curious about is what kind of camshaft is in this, because before I put this in my Jeep, the cam that was in it had a bunch of flat lobes, probably the factory cam. And I had this one laying around that a friend gave me, and I just slapped it in and knew nothing about the cam. Generally not a good idea because you don't want to put too much lift to, you know, valve springs that can't take it and stuff. But, you know, I was 15, so. <laughs> Which it worked out because this thing was a little screamer. CS112R. Duration at 50 thousandths is 224, 224. Lift 436, 436. Lobe center line is a 108. Idle quality rough. It's actually a smaller cam than what's in the Nova, though. Is it? Yeah, the Nova is 230-230 and 480-480. As we've been kind of messing around with it here, we found that three of the head bolts going into the block are helicoiled in here. One up here and then two on this head, one there. 
and one there and this one it looks like they had a hell of a time trying to get this bolt out because this hole is really big and it's actually getting pretty close to the cylinder wall here and i'm worried that if we try to put a bunch of power into this that that could crack right yeah. there or you know you might get a hot spot right there even if it doesn't crack it's just it's just not good so that being the case, this block is in quite a bit worse shape than I thought. You know, maybe you guys tell me, leave some comments. What do you think? What should we do with this? Should we even mess with it and just go super cheap? You know, grab a set of 30,000 pistons, dingle ball hone it, slap it together. Mm -hmm. Or should we just jump straight to the 350 and build that thing to the hills? I suspect they'll choose the 350, but 327s are badass. 327s are cool. I love them. But... There's, and there's definitely a nostalgia factor there to them. Well, kind of a bummer. Yeah, I'm bummed out about that. I thought it was in a lot better shape than it is. But it's not the first time we've uh, run into problems on Knot Rod. I'm sure it won't be the last. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what it is with me, but for some reason I just I had a really hard time putting this on without lining up the marks. I just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, just a little OCD there. I had to have the marks lined up, yeah. even though it's going to have to come completely apart before it gets run. Yeah, I know. I probably would have done the same thing. So when you put this damper on, you're not supposed to hammer on it to get it on. You're supposed to put it on with an actual polar thing that helps you get it on. Well, apparently that was news to the engineers at uh, General Motors back in 1967 because they don't give you any way to do that. <laughs> I have no idea how the factory did it, but that's how you kind of have to do it because yeah. there's no threads yeah. in the crank. All right, on the next short video, we're going to compression test the 350 in the Nova and find out just how bad it is. Spoiler alert, it's really bad. That's interesting because this thing's been. Whoop.